Border Patrol is warning the administration now. They're saying, look, we can't handle this. We do not have the resources. We do not have the we don't have the staff. We don't have the manpower. Uh, we don't have any of that. Jason Jones is a former Texas border security cap captain, and uh, they were talking about how there was a gun battle that broke out uh, with drug cartels at the border. Now, this is not unlike the time the the last time that I went down there in McAllen, and there were uh, cartels that were firing a 50 cal over at border agents, and the agents had said, "Well, usually when they do something like this, they are either they're doing one of two things: they're either uh, or maybe three things." They're moving drugs across. They're moving uh, uh, people that are part of uh, human trafficking or both. It's not that they're sneaking uh, illegal entrants across the Rio and, and to get to the border. It's that they're, they're trying to get something over the border that they don't want Border Patrol to pay attention to. So sometimes Border, border, uh, border Patrol had said that when they are, if they send over a huge group and really try to get border agents attention that's also a time that they will use to you know wait maybe down the river a little bit they'll they'll get try to get drugs or something else across or people that they've nabbed for human trafficking and border patrol agents said that you know it happens with frequency so this is not unheard of isn't as as insane as that is so they border patrol was warning them like look we can't we can't deal with this anymore this is as bad as we thought it was under former President Obama, it's, I mean, it's even worse now. It's like three to four times as much. It's what Julio Rosas was telling us yesterday. And that's what a lot of border agents are saying. Um, even some of the, even some of the towns like the Catholic Charities, it's in McAllen. You know, I, I th- that's not like that's a conservative entity. Okay. That's not a conservative entity. And when they're saying that, wow, there's a lot of people coming through. I mean, maybe you should, you know, take seriously what some of these people are saying and, and kind of put politics to the side for a moment. It's not a political thing to say that it is a crisis, what is happening. Uh, it's not a political thing to say that it becomes a humanitarian issue, what is happening. It's not a political thing to say that it's three to four times at, at its worst moment as it was under the, the Obama administration. So this is, uh, I mean, it's, it's and this was a, a border town that uh, where two cartels have been fighting apparently for a number of years, and that's when they had uh, their gunfight last night. And there was video of, you, people could, were taking video, you couldn't really see anything, but you could hear the gunfire. It's just not, it's becoming more and more normal, which is insane. So this is a massive, massive problem, and I don't know what it's going to take for this administration to realize that the things that they have done have directly contributed to this. I mean, I don't know how much more it can be spelled out because this, when you, when you sign executive orders and you change the policy on deportation and you, you, you actually have uh, an order barring as a result of this, local law enforcement and border agents from detaining and deporting any and ICE from deporting people who are coming across the border. Where do you think those people go? The numbers add up. It all adds up. 